much op overpower now it's going to be wind you're going to get but you can see what I'm doing with my side spin just trying to you know protect the wind that left Get up here as far as possible so I'm thinking you know right about in here a little bit Side spin on is to keep it off of, um, you know, going in that left route. Um, but I also want to protect it. And, uh, you know, the right hand side as well, because especially with all the top spin, you can go into the right route. Well. So this is going to take ball there somewhat close. Oh, wow. This one, it really got a win. So a little bit different spin. Um, you know, what... I try to keep the momentum away from the bunker personally um, because I don't want to wind up in there. So I, and, you know, had that gone, had that been an inch over and not hit that rough, he, he would have been straight in the bunker. So, you know, that's one of the reasons that I try to keep off of that spin. It kind of keeps me going towards the bunker. Um, but even where I'm at, you know, I have plenty of power to get here. So this is. I'm doing very similar to what I've been doing um, I don't think I need full but I probably need pretty close <clears throat> so I'm gonna try it right around here orange ink ah I don't think that'll cost me but not what I was trying to do so here you can see that I kind of favor the right hand side to begin with just because the fringe seems to, you know, contain the ball over here. So I don't mind being over there. Here we got a Cat 7. So, you know, similarly you could do the same shot, the same backspin shot as I'm doing with a Cat 7. You would just have to per perfect the land zone. This looks like a bit too much to be doing what I'm doing. I would probably pull back just a little bit more. Then where am I? It, it, it's close though. This might hold, but it might be just a little bit long. And you can see that it hits very close to the edge, and because it hits very close, it's going to roll off into the rough because you can't quite stop it. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, he would have needed to pull back from max power there, the max power line. As you could see that it was just a wee bit too much. It almost hit the rough. It was very, very close to landing on the rough. Oh, wow. So a little glitchy ball guide there. I thought I was going to pick up a uh, possible win there. So it's something to be a little bit careful of. Um, I could see it kind of on my ball guide a little bit. I was trying to stay away from it, um, you know, and that's one of the reasons, especially up the hill, you know, you may want to stay away from this full top spin type approach um, because you just never know. Uh, you don't, especially in an easy win like that, you know, I didn't have to hit that shot. So if you don't have to hit that shot, 
you know, it might not be the smartest thing to do. Looks like both both the opponents in this replay eagled anyway, so I would have had to go to shoot out. I would have, you know, it's just going to waste time anyway. So not a big deal there. Um, however, you know, just something to, you know, keep in mind with your, uh, you know, your guide. Um, you know, that might not be the best solution up a hill. It's going to require a perfect ball anyway. So you can see what my opponent did with the, the top spin up the hill. Um, as I mentioned, if he great balls, it's not going to go in. I've never made a great ball down below that hill there, even once. Um, I mean, you'd have to have really awful wind play to make it. Um, there's no point that you can put it that's close enough that the tolerance stays within a great... It, it, you have to hit perfect ball down there. So since you have to hit perfect anyway, the top spin shot may not be the smartest. Um, especially without a side wind, you know, with a, with a, just a straight on wind that both of us had, you know, it might just be best to, you know, avoid that glitchy type ball guide or, you know, inch short hit, which causes it to, you know, come up short. So good luck and uh, catch you guys on the next one.